please don't disconnect me. I was watching YouTube. Hey guys, pole position here. Last Sunday, I went for a coffee. Coffee was decent, internet was fast, so I had a nice browse online and I finished my coffee. Obviously, I, I'm, I remembered to, to pay for the coffee, however, I forgot to disable my Wi Fi, and that gave me a small idea. Obviously, I'm not going to bother creating a task profile for every single coffee place I'm going to visit in the next six months. So, how about we're going to create automatic a profile to disable um, our Wi-Fi. We know screensavers, our mobiles have them, monitors, tellies, we have a lot of devices that automatically conserve power and I don't really recall anything apart from the watch uh, that I've got that automatically disables Wi-Fi when it's no longer in use. And if you follow my tutorials online, you probably know how to enable and disable Wi-Fi when we arrive and you leave home. If not, you can watch the video here. And in my recent video, you can also discover how much power you actually save by doing so. So, let's go and start the tutorial. The first thing we're gonna take care of is monitor settings in Secure um, Settings plugin. So just make sure this is selected to start monitoring automatically and enable this in options. Once you've got Tasker open, just start a new project and we'll start the tutorial. We're going to import the state condition and we head to plugin, Secure Settings and we're going to be checking for our Wi-Fi whether it's on or off. The general idea here is we want this profile to run only when the Wi-Fi is enabled. Secure settings would allow us to create a custom variable that's going to be responsible for passing the value. I'm just going to name it Wi-Fi state. To activate, we're going to use it as a condition and we'll make our telephone flash this variable whenever enabled. Please remember these settings are an instant so it might take a few seconds before Tasker will register that the Wi-Fi is off. So in our task, we're just going to use flash action and select my variable at Wi-Fi state. All right, because we're going to enable and disable a lot of profiles, make sure you're gonna name all of them, as you can only do so on the named profiles. We're going to create a time condition that will hold the variable, which will precise what time exactly we want our Wi-Fi to disconnect. So I'm going to use a timeout variable and that's going to be usually set to 5 minutes ahead of current time. We'll set from and to to the same variable so the time would work as an event condition. So when we hit our time event, we want to turn off our Wi-Fi. Obviously we're going to use a setting Wi-Fi off to perform this task. But also, I'll create another action which will cancel notification because we're going to issue 5 minutes warning as well. I already know what my message is going to say, but make sure all the spelling is done correctly including capital letters. Tasker will search for the title of this notification and will cancel it. And once this is done, just simply close it out and rename the profile as well. At this point, also start making sure that your profiles don't have restore settings checkbox selected as this happens when you don't add exit tasks. So let's next specify what happens when we're not connected to Wi-Fi. So select uh, condition state, Wi-Fi and invert it. When we're not connected, we want to start counting out for five minutes and then because also I want to make sure the profile responsible for that is enabled, that's gonna be my first action. So we enabling profile timed out off, which holds our variable with time. Now it's time to define our variable, so we're going to use variable set to define timeout. Don't be scared using your system variables times, which shows a lot of seconds because computers are great with numbers. And this is the best way to ensure we don't have any problems jumping from one day to another. Because current time is in seconds, what we have to do is add 5 minutes, so that's 60 times 5. Or you can just add plus 300. If you want this section to be dynamic, do 60 times variable that will hold your timeout in minutes. I've mentioned before notification, so we're going to convert those millions of seconds into readable time using variable convert action. And we're going to store this in our new variable timeout time. 
this is exactly our time in an hours and minutes when we're going to disconnect our internet. So we're going to create now notification where it's going to be displayed. And remember, the title has to be the same as the title from Notify Cancel Action. In the text field, we're going to let ourselves know what time Wi-Fi will disconnect using variable timeout time. And if you want, assign the icon and specify how important is this notification using a notification number. So this profile is completed. Let's rename it and move on to the next condition. We have scenario when the, our Wi-Fi is not connected. So let's move on and create one state when Wi-Fi is actually connected. So what we want to do is to cancel all the pending timeouts to make sure our Wi-Fi won't be disconnected. The plan is to cancel out all the notifications, clear the variables and disable profile responsible for the disconnection. The profile to disabled is obviously timeout off. Next action will be to remove our notification using cancel notification action. We can either copy it or start typing again, making sure title is correct. Then we're going to clear the following variables using variable clear action, timeout and timeout time. Once you do this, this part is over and we can go ahead and rename the profile. The next profile that we're going to create will be looking at our Wi-Fi settings, whether it's on or off. So we're going to select state and use the variables that we created before in the secure settings, which is Wi-Fi state. This is a Boolean state, so it will take the values true or false spelled with a lowercase. In this profile, we will be monitoring our other profiles, turning them on and off as required. So if our Wi-Fi is on on the devices, we want to make sure all our profiles responsible for timeouts are enabled. Using profile status action, we want to turn on following profiles. Connected, not connected and timeout off. And we're going to create an exit task so we're going to clone our profiles on and then change the settings so all the profiles listed were off. In addition to this, we can also make sure that our notifications and the variable timeout is cleared. So I'm going to add these two actions quickly here as well. Once this is completed, all I have to remember about is to link up our exit task to the condition we just created in this profile. And to keep everything OCD happy, we're just going to rename the last profile as well. Before you run and test the profile, make sure all restore settings are unchecked. So let's quickly make a test run. And um, if I'm going to change any Wi-Fi settings, right now I'm not connecting uh, to anything, I should receive the notification that uh, it is going to be disabled in a few minutes, as you can see that's on the screen. That's all for this tutorial guys, thank you for watching. Leave me comments in the comment section down below if you've got any. Like the video if you found it helpful, links for the profile and the descriptions are in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next video if you're already subscribed. Bye!